Hi, I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just sitting here enjoying this cool glass of molecules and going over today's science file. And today's science file says, how do we know molecules are in motion? Well, that is an excellent question. You definitely want to try this. You will need two containers and some food coloring. <laughs> okay, get yourself two glasses. Whoa! Two glasses. Two glasses. No, not magic. Cheap editing. Take this glass, this glass, and you're going to fill it with really cold water. Then you're going to take this glass, glass, and you're going to fill it with really hot water. Woo! Okay, now that you have your hot, hot, hot water and your cold, cold water, you're going to get food coloring. And you're going to drip one drop in each container. Here we go. Now, keep your eye on the food coloring to see which one spreads quickest. Whoa, now this is so cool. The warm water spread the food coloring quicker than the cold water did. Now, that is so cool. So, what's going on here? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. The reason the food coloring diffuses or spreads quicker in the hot water is because warmer molecules have a faster molecular motion. Colder molecules have a much slower molecular motion. If molecules didn't have any molecular motion, the food coloring wouldn't spread at all. Molecules are a group of atoms held together with a strong chemical bond. All molecules have the ability either to slow down or speed up another set of molecules. You might think of heat as how warm something is, but the principle of heat is the ability to transfer molecular motion. This means that no matter how hot or cold something is, everything, including very cold things, all have heat. So now you know that everything, everything, everything has heat. You know, drinking a cool glass of heat is why science is so cool.